I have a red-headed woodpecker that comes to my bird feeder in the mornings and I want to film him, maybe my flag to put in a painting. It looks like he's still hungry. I have been working on sketches of the scenes that I videoed with the red-headed woodpecker. And I like to make sketches. These are really, um, quick sketches, but I like to make a whole page full to look at each one and see which one I might like to use for my painting. I'm always looking for um, composition. I would like to have other birds with the woodpecker and of course it's gonna have some kind of background. Um, so I thought I might like to have the flag in it. And so um, this one may be a little too busy though with the trees and everything in the background. When you get ready to do a painting, if you're fairly new at it, or a drawing, either one, sketch out different ideas and use the all of the elements that you want in your painting and then decide which one has um, the best composition. Um, these are both similar. Uh, I like the fact that this bird is facing in toward the page you don't want to necessarily have your main center of interest looking out of the picture. You want him to be looking in. And I like the little bird that was sitting on top um, to be there with him. Um, and then on this one, I also liked the greenery that was with the flag and it's pointing in toward the center of interest. <clears throat> and uh, I think I'll do this one, but instead of doing this as a pot of flowers, I think I'm going to um, consider it more like uh, flowers that are growing. I have um, azaleas, and I might like to have that. I've started to sketch on a piece of 140 pound watercolor paper um, the idea that I wanted to paint. And I have the bird on the top and the red-headed woodpecker looking in, another little bird here on the side. But as I got ready to do the stars, I didn't, um, exactly know how big to make them or um, of course I want them to all be the same. And so I decided to show you how to cut out a star, um, folding the paper and then making one cut. You can cut a star 
and that way I can trace around it if I want to. All right, we're ready to cut our star. I'm using a large piece of paper so you can see better. Take a piece of paper and fold it over in half. Then fold it up just enough so that you can pinch it right here to find the center of this length. Then from that center spot, fold the bottom up at an angle. And we want this to be one third and this to be two thirds. So you're just gonna have to guess at it and we can refold it as many times as we want to. Now fold that up again and then fold this piece at the top this third has to go back so i'm just going to flip it over enough so that i can see i guessed fairly well if if this is much bigger or much smaller, it doesn't fit right here on the edge, then go back and refold so that you can get it into three one-thirds. All right, now I'm gonna flip it back over to where we started on this side, and we're going to make a cut. Depends on how fat you want your star to be, but you wanna go from this side, however big you want your star to be, and you're going to make a cut about like that. So, let's try that. Of course, the farther down on this side means the skinnier the legs of your star is going to be. Okay, this is trash. Now, just open your star up and there you have it. Now, let's say that that's maybe too fat for you. You can fold it back again in half. Fold that side up, up again and back and then cut it skinnier farther down here and there you have it Okay, so there you know how to make a star by cutting and folding. I've decided to add some um, frisket, misket to the painting to save some of the white spaces. I always uh, dip it into uh, water that has soap in it or just put a bar of soap and rub your brush over it and that way it won't ruin your brush. And I'm just using my lines as kind of a guideline I'm not going all the way to the edge because I know that the dark blue will cover it up. I also want some white places saved onto the bird's back.
that I have my Frisket on and now I'm going to start adding a little bit of my first layer. Okay, I've got one color down there for my background, and I want to work on this area where the other flowers are going to be, maybe azaleas. And they fairly dark. leaves I'm actually going to work wet and wet in this This is not a main character, so I'm not going to completely finish it realistically. I may come back and do some more than just this, but um, you don't want to add too many details to something that's not your main point of interest in your painting. And remember on the other video, I told you that as you're working on being creative, you um, maybe can't talk and work at the same time because talking is a left brain activity and painting and other arts things are a right brain activity so it's hard to do both at the same time okay i'll come back to that later after it's dry and see what else we need to do to it the red here Okay, there's a fold in this that I want to make just a little bit darker right where it falls over. Just a tiny bit darker still. Okay, that'll be ready to take off in a little bit because I have some evergreen leaves that are coming down here and there. Now let's take some Windsor blue green shade and Windsor red and yellow 
switch to a smaller brush. And that's about the color of the um, bird feeder.